All right. Hello again, adventures, and welcome uh, to another exciting episode of uh, Designing the New Dragons. Join me as we may be introducing you to your new favorite character. Um, sorry this is coming out since it's so late. Uh, last night, uh, the live stream went much longer than I intended, and then today, there was a Nintendo Direct. That was super awesome, uh, but it's just meant everything get delayed, 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 delayed. So, we are finally going to be making our third character using the Talisman Adventure System. And, um, yeah, uh, we're not going to do any preamble or anything like that. We're going to dive right into it. Um, again... Uh, we're following the character creation chapter, uh, which is only a couple pages, uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, uh, but I like to choose class first before I choose the race. That's just how my brain works. So, uh, this time we are 100% going to be choosing a martial class. We've done enough caster classes. I want something martial. Um, and I think I might go... I think I might just go the boring way and let's let's create a uh, let's create a warrior. Um, so yeah, like we haven't. I, I don't think I've made a fighter in a really long time. Most of the the fighters I make are really weird anyway. So I, I think it'll be fun for us to warrior start off with kind of your standard you know fighter type type thing. So let's see the stuff we get to choose. Uh, creating warrior strength starts at four. We're going to be a strength-based character. Craft starts at 2. Uh, life start... Oh, I should probably... Let's go here. Now you guys can see. Look at that. Okay, so warrior, strength 4, craft 2. We're going to go down here. Life starts at 15, because warriors are hardy. Uh, and then they actually get plus 3 per level, so that's interesting. And then for skills, we get... Uh, Really? Athletics, Intimidate, Fortitude, Melee, Notice, and Ride. And then you also get your choice of either a uh, missile weapon or throw. Uh, I like throwing base characters, so I'm going to go throw. I don't know if they have good throwing options in this, but I like... I like, you know, dagger, 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 and stuff like that. And then you can also choose a focus in melee as well as a focus in athletics or fortitude. So let's choose um, choose a focus in melee. So let's go to skills. Let's go to melee. See what kind of focuses, foci, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we can get in there. Focus barehanded. Large blades, large blunt, medium blades, medium blunt, small blades, spears. You guys know I've got to, you know, even though I'm making, you know, a uh, a, a warrior here, I got to go barehanded. Like that, I was not intending to make a monk, but monk, but yeah, I mean, come on. Barehanded. You guys know me. I haven't, I haven't made a monk yet. I need it. So go barehanded. And then what was the other things that we got? Uh, do do do. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, focus in athletics or for fortitude. So let's go, athletics or fortitude. All right. So focus acrobatics, climbing, jumping, running, swimming. So those are those. Uh, or fortitude. Can be cold, dehydration, disease, endurance, heat, hunger, poison. Um, I think the athletics just sounds more fun. And I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go jumping. I don't know how useful jumping is in this game, but I like the fact that I'm focused. Oh, I, I got to do this correct. So we go here, we go athletics. jumping and then melee bare handed and there we go so now i know that those are focuses 
All right, so we got that. Let's go back to uh, Horia. So what else cool stuff? Uh, all warriors have heavy armor training, so special ability. We're just going to put heavy armor training. Um, you also choose one of the following. Two weapon fighting, shield master, two handed master, and then choose one special ability from the list, mighty blower avenger. All right, so heavy armor training. Uh, you suffer no agility penalties from wearing any kind of armor. That's cool. Two weapon fighting. You can wield a weapon in each hand as long as that weapon's damage is 1d3 or 1d6. You cannot take. You cannot make multiple attack rolls with your offhand weapon. Instead, your offhand weapon adds two to your main weapon's damage when your attack gets a standard success. If you roll a great success or better while attacking with two weapons, you add your brawn or agility to your main weapon's damage instead. You also get a plus one to any melee defense test. So I tend to be a fan of two weapon fighting. Um, I do want to check something out really quick because I want to see what they list as, what they list bare hands as. Uh, I want to see if they list it as something in here. I thought I thought I saw because again if I can I'm I'm specialized in, in attacking with bare hands um, stats level sword I thought they had a thing that said something about bare handed let's go to the combat section real quick combat Fighter stack, exploration, position, character actions, attack, melee. Bring success, da, 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 da. attack, psychic. Matt, attack, ranged, defend, disengage, cast a spell. Not seeing anything there, so we're going to go to the index and see what I can find there. So let's try B for barehanded. Got nothing. How about U for unarmed? Okay, unarmed special ability. All right, let's check page 75. Oh no, it's just a, a priest thing. Hum. So I have no idea how unarmed works in any way, shape or form. I wonder if it'll say it in the skill section. I know this is super, super riveting content. Um, melee. Da, 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 melee is a com common ability. Any form of hand of hand. Bare fisted fighting to sing nice to you. Use the melee skill. But it doesn't tell me. Doesn't tell me how to do that. Do, 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 do. Maybe if I go F for fist. I'm not going to continue to look at this for too much longer, but I want to see if I can right, first aid, some tackle, fit right. I'm trying to think of anything I could, like P for punch, maybe? No. Having the foggiest idea how unarmed attacks work, but there is a barehanded skill for melee, so there has to be rules for how it works. Armed shield services. See, I thought it would be under weapons, because that's where in. Uh... All right, let's see. Range, damage, features, axe, battle, stagger, flail, 
Mace Pike Rapier Sparsis. Da, 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 da. Armor and Shields. Yep, having the foggiest idea how that works, but we're going to pretend it does. Uh, again, it's it's probably somewhere in here, and I'm just not seeing it, um, which is another thing I'm not particularly fond of this uh, book. But again, I think it's cool, but a lot of things will show up only in one place, and if you don't know that that's where it's hidden, you never find out about it. Um, so as far as I have to choose two weapon fighting shield master or two handed weapon, uh, two handed master. The two-handed master lets me use a two-handed weapon single-handedly, which is cool. And then shield master. Okay, I'm going to do two up in fighting. I have no idea if I can make that work with my bare-handed. Because that would be very useful. Um, but we'll see. And then we also get... Oh, and that's not a skill. That's a special ability. Herb Thurv. So we're going to cut that. And we use semicolons here. Two up in fighting. And then I don't want that. And then I get to choose between Mighty Blow or Avenger. So Mighty Blow, when you roll a standard success or better on attack test, you can spend a light fate to reduce the armor points of your enemy's armor by one half your strength before resolving damage. Uh, so basically, you can you can ignore some of their armor, um, and then there's an improved version of it. Or, uh, with Avenger, you can't stop enemies away from wounding, but... Okay, so when an enemy within your reach deals damage to a character or another... To a character or another one of your allies, you can spend a Light Fate to deal damage to that enemy equal to half your strength, round it down. Uh, and you can't use this feature more than once per enemy attack. I like Avenger, uh, because I like that idea of... Um, like, I've, I've tried to build characters like this in a couple different systems, and they, they tend to be very, very difficult um, just because the systems are not built to deal with a character like that. But I like the idea of um, a, a reactive character where they just kind of stand there and let the enemy attack and they kind of dodge and counterattack. Uh, because it's it's a remarkably, uh, if, you're, if you're good at it, it's a remarkably effective um, combat technique. Um, but it takes a lot of training to be able to do that. And just because of how rules work, it's very difficult. And Avenger kind of gives me that feel. So I'm going to go Avenger. Uh, so we have that. And ag again, the uh, the fighter is is very simple, very easy to understand. I've done that. Um, that's really all I need to do. Um, now, I need to uh, now I need to pick my race for this or my ancestry for this. Um, do, 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 do. I could be a dwarf. That could be fun. Um, I've already done a ghoul, so I don't want to do that again. Maybe I'll go human. So, so human, I can increase the maximum for any one attribute to seven. Um, so that would be kind of, uh, that would be kind of interesting. Um, but, uh, and then I also get a skill of my choices as being a human. But that, I don't know, that was kind of boring to me. And then we have Laywalker, which I've already done before. Sprite. Sprite would be fun! A fairy? Yeah! Let's go Sprite! Oops. Sprite. Uh, yeah! No, I like this. Okay, cool. So I'm going to be a, a little fairy warrior. Which I am so in for. Uh, let's look. Uh, maximum resolve or agility. Uh, I think I'm going to go here. And go Sammy Golan. Sammy Golan. Uh, let's see. Agility cap seven. I like that. Uh, and then gain the stealth or deception skill. Gotta love me some strength. Yeah, stealth. Uh, and then when the game begins, a sprite strength can be no higher than four. Ooh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm limited to four, which isn't that big a deal. 
uh, because that's what I've, I've started at here. Uh, and then for backgrounds, um, I've got a courtier, a commoner, or an exile. Uh, courtier gives me resolve and gives me the entertain skill, which might be fun. Uh, and you begin the game with a pixie follower. And the commoner gives me wits and the persuasion skill. Uh, and then any creature of the woodland you encounter reacts to one step higher. Or I could be an exile, which I think I like. It gives me a plus one to agility, gives me the survival skill. Um, when you would make a hunter test, uh, you can choose to get a standard success instead of rolling. If you roll for the test, you must accept the roll. That's kind of cool. Uh, so I'm going to go background. I like the exile. We're going to put a one in my agility. So I know that that's already there. Uh, and because I don't have an alignment restriction and I've already done a neutral and an evil, we're going to say that this dude's a good one. And then here we just put, uh, when making hunter test can, can choose to take a standard success instead of rolling and I have to spell hunter correctly hunter to -t -t there we go so we got that cool 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 we got everything for the, 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 that oh we still have more uh, I forgot there's still more special abilities so we've got that uh, I have flight I love this so I get flight so I can fly very cool Semicolons, semicolons. The reason I do the semicolons thing is so if I have to write something that needs a comma, I can still tell where abilities end. Uh, so, and choose, uh, and then choose one. Booner Bane, Earth Speaker, or Charming. Booner Bane, once per day, you or someone you've chosen can re-roll a Kismet dice. A die, that's really, really you, you, uh, useful. And you can only choose someone you see. Um, Earth Speaker, you can speak to plants and trees if, uh, as if they're sentient strangers. Okay, and then charming. Once per encounter, you can spend a light fate to make a persuasion test against a moderate difficult difficulty to charm one stranger or enemy. If you succeed, the target reacts to such. You know what? I like Booner Bane. Not banned. Bane. Uh, once per day, you or. Someone you've chosen can re-roll a kismet die. That is super, super useful. Uh, love that, love that, love that, love that, love that. Uh, okay, so I've got that done. Uh, let's go back to character creation. Uh, what else do we need to do? We did that. Choose your alignment. We've done that. Uh, attributes so choose strength or craft add one point to that attribute well I can't add anything to strength because again I'm not allowed to have it start above four because I'm a sprite but I can add one to craft so we do that and then we get double the number of those points so I have eight points here um, I think putting three there Three there because I want to be that and then two there for the metal makes a lot of sense because three six uh, eight so there and then three I've got six here um, let's go let's just go give me a little bit of everything there um, if I wanted so I don't need both metal and resolve uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change you to a one get my brawn up to four so I have both of those uh, skills, depending on what I'm d d d d doing. Again, because I don't know how punching works, normally uh, with a character like this, um, I would specialize in either strength or uh, dexterity in, in like D&D &D, um, because that would be based on, you know, whichever one I use for hitting. Um, in earlier versions of D&D, &D, like in third edition, um, 
Uh, monks could use uh, dexterity once they took certain feats. They could use dexterity for their attack rolls, but they always had to use their strength for their damage rolls. And a lot of times, a lot of their other abilities required dexterity. So playing a monk in earlier editions required you to have a good strength score, a good dexterity score, a good wisdom score, and generally either a good constitution, um, generally an okay constitution. And sometimes you also needed some charisma for certain abilities. So playing a monk in earlier editions was a pain in the ass. Uh, and you had to have really, really like uh, the point by system you were kind of screwed in. You had to, uh, most of the time you had to roll for your stats and hope that you got a lot of big numbers in order to pull off a monk. Um, but here, because I don't know how punching works, um, I just have to, uh, I just have to kind of, you know, hedge my bets, which isn't the worst thing in the world. You know, again, I like the idea of a super strong sprite. I think that's funny. Um, so yeah. Uh, so we did that. Uh, and then I need to go, I need to choose two skills or focuses. So I'm gonna go back to skills. So I already have some interesting stuff here. Um, what other cool stuff do I think this character, you know, it's an exiled pixie. So it used to be good friends with the other uh, fairies. Or sorry, an exiled sprite. So it used to be good with the other fairies, uh, but it is no longer. I think I like the idea of throwing in uh, bargain. And I think I want to get a focus in. Uh, hmm. Let's go trade. Uh, and the reason why. So the, the idea that I'm getting for this being exiled from their uh, community, they need something to make money um and something to kind of live off so i'm kind of getting the idea that this uh sprite is a uh, uh a mercenary for hire of, of some sort um and so uh having a specialty in trade would give them the ability uh to uh be able to kind of advocate for themselves uh and uh get the best prices uh for their services and stuff like that and just understanding how markets work and stuff like that um, not markets as in physical places, but markets as in the like uh, uh, the mercenary market. You know, knowing what mercenaries go for and things like that. That's why I picked trade over one of the other focuses you could have is just markets. But trade for me is going to be a little bit more of like markets is understanding how stores work effectively, um, where trade is just understanding how the system itself works. And I think that's more useful for a effectively an independent contractor. Not to bring business into this, but so we got those. See, this is nowhere near as difficult as I'd make it the other two times. Um, so is there anything else? Oh, I need to get my equipment. So for a warrior, get chainmail or scale armor. I'm gonna real quick just figure out what the difference between those two are. Uh, so chainmail has nine protection and is four load. Scale uh, is 12 protection and is eight load. I think I'm gonna go scale because I have a nice strength score. Um, that means I've got, uh, where's my load? Load, 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 load. Max load is 20 for me, so it's five times your strength. So let's go down here, so let's start putting stuff uh, in. Um, so if I'm taking scale mount, since I'm already on this page, I'm gonna go scale uh, and then oh yeah and load this is how it goes scale load is eight and then I think this is supposed to be like total load so you can just keep track of it as you're going and then I'm actually gonna go up here real quick and I have 12 armor with scale so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Cool. So I got all that. Happy about that. Uh, all right. So what else do we get? Warrior. Any one-handed weapon with a shield, or any two-handed weapon. Uh, 
Because we're going to go back to equipment with one-handed weapon or 200. You know what? I actually like, again, if I'm building a, uh, I'm building an armored monk, um, I actually like the idea of giving them a staff. Um, I, uh, I, I used to, I used to practice with a staff. Um, they're remarkably useful weapons. Um, and, uh, I mean, if I'm going to be punching stuff in heavy armor, why not give myself a staff as well? So staff, which is do, 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 do. one load. Uh, and then I also get a shield that I'm, all right, no, it's a two-handed weapon, so I don't get a shield, which is another reason why I chose the staff. So I'm like, I don't want a shield. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on. So what else do I get? Two axes, bow with 20 arrows or a shield. I'm gonna go with two axes. Axe, and I just go two. And I'll get the load for that in a second because I just wanna get the rest of this on here. Uh, haver, sack, bedroll, cinder box, 50 feet. Rope, 10 pitons, pythons, I'm not sure. Hammer, mess, kit, water, bottle, 10 torches, whetstone. Wow, that was urethan. We'll deal with the load on that later. And then pouch, and I get extra money for this too. I like that. Again, I don't like using uh, encumbrance rules and stuff like that. I Because I haven't played this game, I don't know if that makes a huge factor into how the game's played or anything. Um, but because it's just busy work, I'm not going to spend all this time trying to figure out uh, what it is since it's not going to affect the character sheet that much. Wow, that's really good. So that's one, three. I got five gold pieces i got 2d6 plus two gold which turns into five gold that is that is insulting i rolled a one and a two oh so sad and i think that gets me uh everything oh yeah and my speed is 10 plus agility so let's put my speed in here Go back up. Speed, 10 plus agility. Agility is 4. Uh, so, speed of 14. That's not bad at all. Uh, weapons, we have axe, staff, and bare hand. I have no idea what bare hand does for damage or anything, uh, but I can figure out the other ones because they actually have uh, things here. So, axe. Uh, it's brawn. So, the attack bonus. Again, having multiple fields here would be a lot better. Attack bonus is going to be plus four. Damage is going to be 1d6. Staff is brawn, so it's going to be oops, do, 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 plus four. Damage is going to be 1d6 again. And then bare hand, we don't know. And just to be annoying, I'm going to actually put uh, and uh, like I said, there has to be rules for making barehanded attacks. I just didn't find them when I was just glancing through the various places I would expect to find them. Um, it's not in the combat section. It's not in the equipment section, uh, or at least not that I saw. And it's not in uh, the skill section. So whether, uh, whether or not it gives me anything, I don't know. So... Um, yeah, otherwise we need a name for this. Our, our Sprite Exile, um, who is a mercenary for hire. A little little fairy that goes around flying and beating people up. Uh, I think... Uh, I 
just because for characters from the Feywild and stuff like that, I've I've always enjoyed names uh, that uh, don't tend to be names that you that you hear, but are but are words that are familiar, um, and feelings and stuff like that. Like I'm happiness. Um, I I think are just fun names for Fey creatures. Um, so this character's name is Awkward. That's it. Awkward the Warrior. Uh, and yeah, overall, again, if I can get two-weapon fighting to work uh, with uh, barehanded, this could be a really cool thing. Otherwise, it just uses a staff and a bunch of axes um, to do stuff, which is still very, very cool. Um, and is this fully armored dude just wandering around doing cool stuff. So overall, I like it. Like I said, I'm, I'm learning this system a lot better now. Um, so uh, making... Uh, making characters is not nearly as difficult as it used to be um but yeah anyway i think that is gonna be all for me today as always remember to like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon turn notifications on all those things are super super important in the comments down below um what is your favorite martial class i mean it doesn't have to be a specific you know class that shows up in D D or class that shows up in every rpg just what's your favorite martial kind of character to play like a weapons based or just someone that's not um entirely magic focused uh let me know in the comments down below um this is gonna be the last video i do on talisman like i said i, I try to do uh a discovering new dragons and then build three characters and designing new dragons and then we go to something else so monday we're going to be going to a new system and I've got a couple different ones that I'm thinking about doing. We will figure out which one specifically we do. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably Sunday night, to be blunt. But anyway, as all for me today, I'll see you guys until next time. All right? Bye-bye.